Hello folks, old Bubba the Jewish Redneck Prepper back with you today and today we're over here in Newton County and uh, we're over here by the river and we're here to do a little history thing for you and we're in the town of Porterdale, Georgia. Join us as we check out this old historical town. This is an old mill town down here by the river. So come with us as we check out the town of Porterdale, Georgia. Okay, folks, this is the Yellow River here in Porterdale. We're going to take us a little across this old river, this old bridge. Porterdale is like divided by this river here, and people can canoe on it and everything. Wanted to walk down here and get to the other side and show you. So we're like a little river walk down through there. And it was like a bird sanctuary. And on the other side down there, I think there's a ruin, ruins of another uh, uh, mill. Alright? Okay, folks. <laughs> Here's the, the backbone of uh, Porterdale, Georgia. Here's an old uh, mill over here on this side of the river that's no longer in use. It says uh, all these mills were back up through there up north of the hill. His uh, houses were workers that used to run these mills back in the day when Georgia was uh, had plenty of mill towns like this. And Georgia was big in textile industry. Now all of that's just practically disappeared now, folks. But you can tell by these big mills here that Georgia had a lot of old mills. And just going out here to the bridge here to catch the middle of this yellow river here on the other side of the bridge was where I was just at. And uh, let you see the dam out there in the water. Rapids going across the dam down there and take a look at the old mill. Now, I think they have taken this mill and converted it into like uh, office spaces and apartments and everything. And what I'm doing right now is I'm approaching downtown Porterdale. And pa downtown Porterdale is like um, a suburb, <clears throat> one or two or three suburbs of Covington, Georgia. And back in the turn of the century, Cubs in Georgia was a very enterprising town. It had this Porterdale's the suburb, and it had Oxford, where Oxford College is, as part of Amory University here in Georgia, an Ivory League school, the only Ivory League school here in the southeast, uh, Amory University in Atlanta. And I, I would add Oxford College is where Amory University started. Okay, folks, we're approaching the front of this old mill and like I said we're also going downtown of uh, Porterdale Georgia and on the other side going up hill you're heading back toward Covington Georgia and uh, recently back in the past 20 years or so they've improved this town because this this town was dilapidated they've fallen in a lot of people moved in here and converted a lot of these old stores. And this right here is basically, like I said, it says the lofts available it's for rental space and stuff. All of that back there is where they've turned it. And here's the sign that says Porterdale. Well, let's just check out some of the stores they got here. Dirty Dogs, the mall. This is Gents Grooming Lounge. First Georgia and such. And uh, we're going to go downtown. And I remember when my, lot, most of these stores back in the 80s, when I lived up here, most of these stores were abandoned in contact service this time of the year. And uh, here is the old theater up here that was dilapidated. And they kind of like got it where it's fixed up. They got, I don't think they completely fixed it up, the inside. They just got the outside walls uh, up. So uh, 
get up there and cross the road and take a look at it. Okay, folks, this is the old Porterdale Memorial Gymnasium. And uh, I'll take a look at it. I don't know what happened to it, but I think you're allowed to go inside. It says the Porter Memorial Gymnasium. I don't know if it fell in or what, but it's got signed up here, state marker. It says, uh, a little information on here. It says, erected in 1938 by James H. Porter. In honor of his father and city founder, Oliver S. Porter, the gym featured a central basketball court which elevated bleachers on both sides, sufficient to accommodate the entire town. Space below the bleachers held dressing rooms and offices. The gym provided a place for athletic events uh, and physical education classes, as well as school plays, piano classes, and meeting place for the Porterdale Women's Club. Highlight of each year was the community Christmas program, the center of the Porterdale's recreation and social life for 40 years. The gym fell in into disuse as the meal and the community declined. Designed by Ella May Ellis League, one of Georgia's first licensed female architects, the gym was constructed with wooden floors, roof, and bleachers. The building was destroyed by fire October 20th, 2005. In order to preserve the historic structure, the gym was pre repurposed in 2013 as an open-air event venue and a symbol of Porter Dale's revitalization. Folks, this is a town, when the mills closed, that basically was a ghost town for many a day, many a year. And you look around, you can see the houses up there, the water tanks. This place, and back over here behind this church, there's another big old mill. So, this town was a large town, and uh, was uh, practically a, almost a ghost town back in the 80s. Still had people living here, but the, the business was dead so let's go in here and take a look inside of this old gymnasium and see the marvelous work that they have done in here the brick work is fascinating and like i said you can tell up there where the old bleachers used to be and the doorways to the old uh dressing rooms and if you look up there up front you can tell that was the old stage and up top you can see by the markings of the brickwork that there was also looked like there was bleachers up there. And uh, give you like a panoramic view here. You have bleachers all the way around. So they probably had all kinds of important events in this old gymnasium. And I love the idea that they people come in here and revitalize the uh, this old place. And this is the kind of stuff I love doing, folks. History. And uh, let's go up here. You can tell this is a newer stage than the original one that was here. Get out here and give you a 360. What this place used to look like. And the bleachers and such. Had a back entrance to this place. It said a place like this run into ruins go inside over here on this side and take what look what would have been the old dressing rooms not much to see as you could tell the old bleachers that were above and stuff okay folks we're gonna get out of this building and continue on with our little tour of part of there okay folks we're leaving and going back down here to old Porterdale. You can tell these old place originally was remodeled. And Porterdale was a small town, but it was a busy little town with all the businesses over here back at the turn of the century. And all the people went too far up the hill, like four miles from Covington. Covington being a much more bigger town, there's probably people that was in Covington that uh, come down here to work in the mills. Let's see what this plaque reads on the side of this building. It says, the hydropower of a 48-foot fall on the Yellow River attracted early industry by 1831 
Nor Phillips and Partners have made the town of Cedar Shoals an impressive industrial complex. Sawmills, grits mills, cotton wool, and other chair factories in a cotton plantation. Aided by the proximity of the railroad, 1845, the mills remained active, particularly during the Civil War. In 1890, the complex was sold to Build Manufacturing Company. The company expanded and provided the support required by the employees. A model textile village evolved. Cedar Shoals was renamed to Porterdale in honor of O.S. Porter in 1917. Famous for the production of yarn and seen twine, the mills expanded to 2,500 employees during the most productive years, 1940 to 1970. In 1996, only Osprey Mill remains. The town is now governed by a mayor and council. It said placed here in 1996 by the Landmarks Committee, Newton County Historical Site 11. Folks, this is amazing. I didn't know this place was once named Cedar Shoals. Okay, folks, we're about to wind it up here. Just notice these two signs here on Main Street here at Porterdale. They'll give you another view of downtown here. It says River Access, the Yellow River Kayak Launch, the Yellow River Disc Golf Course. So, folks, this is a place here. And I believe uh, I'm going to walk down here. This is the old depot. And if you look close, I used to do some videos on my uh, channel here, and I hope to get back into them. The railroad track ran right between them buildings. And as you can tell, the old depot down here, you can see where the line ran right straight down through here of the old train depot. Gonna go down here and take a look at the depot. Okay, folks, this is old Porterdale Railroad Depot. As you can tell, our old warehouse. The depot was probably still used back during the during the 40s and the 70s. As of a lot of towns across the south here had the tracks pulled up. See the inside of this one. I'm gonna walk around here. And show you this side of the depot. There's old railroad car. We're going to get that on the other side. What I find amazing here, if you walk in here, you can get free water. If you're walking the trails, you need water, the city provides you there with free water. Somebody must have tired. <laughs> Got my old couch there. Get the outside of this old uh, depot here. That would be probably the railroad station master. Would be right there, little place. Uh, look like that would have been also the lounge if you wanted to. If they had passenger service here from this old depot. Well, this is old Porterdale's depot. Probably one of those freight cars come down through here. But this is the old railroad line. So let's go down here a little place and see how far it takes us. Okay, folks, we're still walking the, <laughs> the old railroad line here in Porterdale. And uh, if I can get a clearer picture, it's going to show you another one of the old mills that used to be here. And all the houses surrounded, all these houses were dedicated to the certain mill where the employees worked at. And it's up there on the hill behind the hill. Like I said, Cedar Shows, Porterdale. I like the name Porterdale again. It's kind of hard. You got to get to a back side road to get to the old mill up there. But uh, this definitely was one of the four or five mills ahead. Okay, I'm going to try to get down here to the runs of another mill. Okay, folks, if you notice closely, there's the old smokestack. That's uh, the runs of another mill. That was once here in Porterdale. There's a lot of runs out there. And uh, there's, a lot, there's been a few people that have been down in there. Uh, I don't care too much about going down there. And uh, I'm gonna get over here and catch where the sign is. 
But if you look closely, I'll try to get as close as I can without having to go in the woods. Some of the foundations here. But see, you can see the old smokestack down there. And here's the Porterdale Landing right down here next to Crete. If you go down through there, you can still see those concrete foundations down there. Another side of the, there's a few foundations. And I think the railroad track ran through here. It might have been, I'm just not sure. Here's the back side of this other mill. So these folks was not no small operations here in this mill. Yeah, this is right here would be where the railroad track ran down through here. Get a better view of the foundation of the old mill down here. Like I said, there's other people have done videos here at Yellow River. Been all down through those runs. But for time's sake, it's going to be a video long enough. Something right here in the woods. Part of the old mill. Let's see if I can get a better shot right here. Old mill out there. Foundations. If you look, you can see it's crumbling. Building over there. And the trees, the oak trees out there are so thick. You can see other foundations. You can see these mill houses here. Back of this other mill. Like I said, there's like four or five mills here. Alright folks, I'm going to uh, finish up with this video here. I want to take you to see the old jailhouse. And uh, we'll be finished with this video. Okay folks, we're coming back. We're retracing our steps. Back through here on this old railroad line. And this old, I guess you could call it a river walk way. And I want to take you to a unique things. You don't find uh, many places, but there's still a few places left here in Georgia in some of the old mill towns, textile towns, because that was a main thing for southern towns after the Civil War. It's growing cotton and uh, making cloth and textiles. Okay, well, I'd like to show you. The old jailhouse of Porterdale here. Okay, folks, here we are. This is our last stop here on our little tour of this old town of Cedar Shoals slash Porterdale, Georgia, now known as Porterdale. And this is the historical Porterdale jail. It's fascinating that they built the jailhouse down around by the railroad track. And this is old jailhouse. And it's the way a lot of old jailhouses were built back in the day folks <laughs> there's a I wish we could get inside and take a tour but as you can tell it's got a sink probably had a jailer but it's got two different stalls back there and uh, let's walk around here and just see it take a look and see what's all we can find here this yeah I'll take a sneak peek through the window here You really can't see much in there. You literally would have to go inside to get a good picture of the old jail. I'd hate to be locked up in there. Well, folks, this is our little tour of Porterdale, Georgia. If you like this video, how about hit the like button and subscribe to the Jewish Redneck Prepper. Until the next time, this is Bubba saying God bless and shalom.